Today we get in hive set up ready to go. Hello, I'm Griff Reeves, welcome to Green and Griff here. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, now we do reviews as well. Now I'm just in here in the workshop where I prepare stuff, highs, repair, build frames, build highs, paint highs, pretty much anything to do with getting kit ready, I do it in this shed. This is my workbench, I got the compressor underneath. That's a, a Wolf air compressor. If you want to see a review of that compressor, Click the link for there, that works pretty good, really cheap, uh, not expensive. Nail gun I'm using is a Senko. Uh, this was actually a gift to me by uh, my beekeeping mentor, Dorian, back in the day, probably about 10 years ago. He gave me this, I'm still using it. That's my main nail gun, even till this day. Bigger nail guns in here. That's the one I use to actually build the beehives. They take, a much bigger strip of nails. So we don't use hammer nails, we don't even use screws anymore. We just use glue and screws. And I'm not recommending this glue, uh, but this is the glue I've been buying for a while. Tight bond number three. And uh, finding that pretty good, that's not let me down at all. So I've got a huge mountain of just kit in here that I need to sort out, roofs. But what I'm doing, more importantly, is I'm getting these brood boxes made up. Now I'm building these frames up. Five two boxes, more in there now there's six in there, but I've run out of boxes. So these have got five frames in every one, because my nukes are six frames. So the six frame nuke will fit in here. I only need five frames to create the full box. Now, if we come over here, I've got this big stack of brood boxes, which are gonna be filled up with frames and they are gonna go straight out to site. The nukes that I've got, um, starting to worry a little bit that I'm way behind that they need to be in those hives right now. So that is today's job, sorting it out. But because these have been in here for a while, you can see the grub, I wanna sterilize them so the, Main thing we do here is uh, there's no foul brood or anything being in these boxes But that's one of the rules I got here. If I'm ever using old kit from the shed Give it a quick burn before you put brand new frames in. So I'm taking the time To put brand new frames the foundation in these hives the box might as well be super sterile as well so everything is new there's no risk of any kind of even mild disease the boxes are totally sterile by giving them a quick once over with a blowtorch then i can go back in the shed and knock the frames up so i'm just going to show you quickly how i do this uh super super simple i've got a, a big gas bottle there you actually don't need a gas bottle that big that's quite big because i use that on the wax the gas wax melter which i don't think i've shown you yet on the youtube channel um i will do a video of that um soon maybe because i got some wax that i've got to melt before it gets really hot so next rainy day i'm going to get that done that is just tied up to a simple blow torch and i'm just gonna literally Burn the inside. When I say burn, I don't mean like you know, scorch it to death. Just turn the colour slightly, work the corners, get right in there. Uh, any kind of wax or prop place, I like to see that bubble up, really boil at, so nothing can live there. And uh, that's what I do. Of course, if this was foul brood, um, if it was AFB, that box will just go straight on the fire. I wouldn't even try to sterilize AFB boxes down. Uh, that would just go straight in the fire. EFB, I would uh, blow torch them like that, but I would probably really scorch the inside and really scrape and scorch as well. But because what I'm doing now, there's no foul brew or anything being in there. It's just for my peace of mind. Um, and that, you know, I don't want anything to pick anything minor up, etc. Uh, so I'm just doing this and I know everything that goes out is spot on. Let's get this burnt up.
And that's it, that's all I do really quickly. And you can tell straight away. That scotch pretty good in there now. And I am happy with that. And that's what I'm doing. So building frames, sterilizing boxes, getting everything ready for the season because the season is fast approaching. I am thinking I got caught up by this warm weather in March. Now it is promising a cold week next week. So hopefully I can catch up on what I need to win next week. And we'll be back on time, back on schedule and no stress and anxiety because everything will be sorted. Well, that's it for this video. Just a quick one. How to sterilize boxes, what we do here to get things ready for the season. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.